Well, ladies and gentlemen, Greg McCloskey from ForexLive.com. This is a Forex quick look. We're going to take a look at the dollar versus uh, Swiss. We are getting a move to the upside in the U.S. dollar uh, with uh, the euro versus U.S. dollar now trading to new session lows. So it's a pound versus U.S. dollar and the dollar versus Swiss is also moving to new session highs and in the process breaking above a key technical level. So let's take a look at that currency pair from a technical perspective. As mentioned, the uh, euro versus U.S. dollar is moving to new session lows, and it is uh, testing its a 200-hour moving average. Be aware, be prepared. That level comes in at 1.09088 uh, in the uh, pound versus U.S. dollar on the hourly chart. We're also back below the 128 level. That was a key level to get to and through on the downside in the 1.2788 level. It, too, is testing its 200-hour moving average. That level comes in at 1.2770. It also was a, a, a swing level. Uh, going back in time to uh, let's say this highs right here right through here and uh, swing lows that we saw in trading yesterday so getting below that level is more bearish and finally the dollar versus yen is uh, uh moving uh, to the upside and uh, moving up to test that 38.2 percent target that i talked about in the kickstart video that level was the high price also from tuesday's trade get above that level and look toward the 200 hour moving average of 148.357 now i promise i get to the dollar versus uh, swiss franc that's the theme of this video and this level and this move, uh, currency pair is also breaking out to the upside and in the process has just moved above the 100 bar moving average on the four hour chart. That level comes in at uh, the one, uh, 0.88034 level. And on the top side, the next uh, target, target, if the momentum can continue, would be up toward the 200 day moving average at 0 0.88244. The risk, risk, close risk level for this uh, currency pair is now that 100 bar moving average. Note that earlier in the day on the four hour chart, the price high came up to that 0 0.8803 level, found willing sellers, moved down to this swing area near the 0 0.8780 level, found support buyers before pushing to the upside on the recent dollar buying. Uh, helping the dollar move to the upside is a 10-year yield, which is now up 8.1 basis points. And that's also helping to uh, uh, cause stocks to move down the NASDAQ index after it's op opening higher is now down around 60 uh points uh, in early U.S. trading. So uh, things are moving uh, right now, and uh, the, that includes a U.S. dollar. Be aware of that, uh, uh, the 100 bar moving average on the four-hour chart. Uh, taking a look at, at it from the uh, hourly chart perspective, uh, the uh, move to the upside uh, is uh, not only getting above the 100 bar moving average on the four-hour chart, which is our risk level, but also the 200-hour moving average. That's a green line right here. Uh, the uh, But getting... Uh, we, uh, traders might use both of those levels as the risk defining level now as long as the price remains above those levels the bias remains more to the upside for the dollar versus swiss so there you have it a technical look uh, not only at the dollar swiss but also a quick look at some of the other major currency pairs my name is greg michaelowski good fortune with your trading bye bye now